Good morning. It's 10 18 a.m. It is January 23rd. It is Tuesday morning. You got one, two, three more days of the work week to go. Hang in there. It'll be over before you know it. Tomorrow will be Wednesday, which will make it a little bit easier, but whatever. So anyway, I'm actually kind of calming my mood down right now to make this video. I didn't sleep last night. I was like, you know, I had one of my issues, okay? Um, I was, I tried to go to bed, right? I tried to go to bed like around, I don't know, maybe nine-ish, ten-ish. I don't remember exactly when, but it was, you know, a decent hour when you would eat to go to bed for most adults anyway, right? So I got into bed, couldn't sleep. So I started doing some reading. I still couldn't relax. And I just tossed and turned before I knew it was like four o'clock in the morning. I'm like, I fucking can't sleep. And what I was thinking about was, of course, this issue. Now, um, and this this is not like me putting people or like trying to point fingers and bitch about the whole issue that's going on with Patreon. But it did kind of trigger it because it helped me go down the um, the the reaction so that I'm picking up on psychically of like some of the people that I used to know. Some people seem shocked that I don't want to have a relationship with um, my blood relations or my adoptive family. Um, I'll get a little bit, I'll get more into that a little bit later. But, um, you know, I started picking up on the, um, you know, the overall feeling. I'm, you know, I'm very, very psychic. So, like I said in that one time I told you about the video on that Saturday morning where people were walking over me or whatever. Yesterday, I was hearing like small, small whispers and like whispery little wispy noises that were around me. And I started picking up and tuning in. And this is what I came to understand, you know. Um, and then, of course, that was pissing me off even more because I feel as though it should be a no brainer why I would not want to have a relationship with either family. OK, um, you know, I, I know that people are thinking, well, you're just basically trying to make it seem like they were all the bad guy and everything like that. You know, I, I will say that I will give, I do consider the issue of mind control in this, okay? Because everyone was mind controlled, okay? But I, I also acknowledge the fact that what was expected of people, um, women particularly, um, is that we expect them to have a maternal instinct, a natural maternal instinct, to where they're protective of that. Neither of my mothers... I'm not mentioning names because I feel like I should be considerate, but neither of my mothers had that, right? Uh, at least not to me, okay? And I don't actually really, when I think about it, I don't ever really call seeing my mother, that my adoptive mother, really show that sort of affection to my sister either. Not everybody's good parents, okay? But some parents to me are like pretty much nightmare parents, okay? I, I can't overlook the fact that, you know, um, my mother knew that I was dealing with bullying and she knew that, um, I don't see how somebody could put their kid through a Holocaust program, regardless, whatever the reason was. Let's just say it didn't even have anything to do with Joseph Mengele. And the reason why I call it a Holocaust program is because the same tactics that were enacted on those poor Jewish people were enacted on me. But I, instead of attacking a whole race of people, it was just honed in on me. Okay. I, I understand what that is. Okay, that's why when I, I did my video on gang stalking, um, God, <clears throat> I think it was in 2017, maybe, I don't know, but it was, but it was actually, I was like pretty, I was starting to gain momentum on my little videos, right, because I was starting to make structured videos, which I really enjoyed, but this particular gang stalking video talks about what it is, okay, and how it, how it invades a person's life and how destructive it is, and I had mentioned that it was originally... A program that was in, invented by the Nazis, right? Surprise, surprise! Now we find out years later, okay, whatever. But anyway, um, what it does is it, it uh, implodes in on a family structure, okay? Um, and that's exactly what it did, you know what I mean? There's no sympathy, empathy, any sort of kind of relating to me and how I feel in this situation. It's it, And I do know the last time I saw my, my um, ex- my adoptive sister Lisa, you know, she started yelling at me. Remember, I told you in that one video, I don't know if you guys remember every single last video, but I did have some kind of confrontation with her and she was turning it around, gaslighting me. Now, this is what this whole program is about it's about protecting the wicked monster who created this whole thing. No more. 
that's what I'm saying. No more. I'm not protecting. I mean, I'm not, I'm not mentioning names on YouTube, but I'm not going to sit here and tuck my life away anymore. Like I, 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 I don't expect to have conversations like, for example, with my son, I don't expect my son to tell me certain things that people told him to be hush hush back. I understand that he has this responsibility, even though it's wrong. It's fucking goddamn wrong. It's fucking wrong. Okay. No matter how you slice it, it's wrong. To ever have your, your anybody in you, you, to introduce that sort of stuff in somebody's household, you had no respect for my home when you introduced that shit in my house. When you have somebody like you know spying on me and then being able to, to to tell people whatever I'm doing, they don't know what they're doing. They they really don't. You're bringing people in and they they don't understand the full scope of the program. I started realizing what the full scope of the program was. Okay, and it's like you, you try to tell people like when you're trying to tell my employer, you know, about the gang stuff, it's in one ear and out the other. They're either in denial of it. And if she knew exactly what I was talking about, fuck you extra hard, bitch. And the reason why is because you're a goddamn Nazi sympathizer or whatever. And so I'm sorry if I'm spouting out right now, but it's because of my stagnity. I'm tired of it. It's like I feel like I'm constantly getting shit on. All the time. For no reason. You know what I mean? It's like people feel guilty about what they do. Or they're ashamed of it. So let's silence Maria. Or we're going to, every time she does something that she steps out of a line. When she stands up for her rights. We're going to penalize her. Like taking off her, you know, making her wear her fucking, this fucking uniform that I would basically wipe my ass with. That's pretty much all it's good for. <laughs> Sorry, I'm on it today. I'm very angry today, you know, because, you know, um, and like I said, you know, I'm not bashing my celebrity soul tribe or anything like that, but I'm, I'm being real with my feelings because people just expect me to go with the program. I'm not going with that program. The problem with it is, is that you created a person with superior ethics, superior morals, and now, you know what, it is what it is. I'm pointing it out for what it is, what it does to people, and how wrong it is on every fucking goddamn level. On, on the moral level, on the legal level, on a spiritual level. I believe that this is a spirit, this is a fucking wicked fucking goddamn thing. Now, I do believe sometimes order comes out of chaos. I'm very grateful because I do believe that I do have something to give in my videos. Okay, because a lot of people want to understand these sort of things. And this is what I want to do. This is my work. You know, when I'm talking about talking about my departure from the earth, I'm going to tell you this. I believe it's my responsibility to live out whatever I'm supposed to. Okay, I don't necessarily think that suicide is a, a good option. Okay, it's not. Okay, but I do understand sometimes people get pigeonholed. And this is what these people were doing. I, they may dismiss it and act like it's funny. It's not fucking funny. It's not funny at all. You're talking about my life. You're conspiring against me. You're making it uncomfortable for me. And you're trying to take away something that I value. If you take away something that I value, I don't care about life anymore. That's like saying, you know, those weird, like, fairy tales where, like, somebody's like, oh, give me your firstborn, like Rumpelstiltskin, right? Rumpelstiltskin wants the, the firstborn child. At the, at the time, the girl doesn't understand how valuable her, her newborn child is because he probably offered it to her, you know, years before in, in the story, years before she met the prince and they ended up getting married and everything, right? But the reality is like, you know, you want me to change religions. You want me to, I, I don't fucking know, be something that I possibly cannot, something that I personally, I do not like the standards of society so much that I will not ever want to emulate it in any way and that's my choice and when you put me my back against the wall when it comes to employment saying you can't fucking earn a living because you're not doing what we want you goddamn to do when I have the right not to you put my life in danger and you think it's frivolous it's not fucking frivolous you think oh she's just complaining because we made fun of her body and she's being overly I'm not being fucking overly sensitive when you set those things in motion, you are setting the wheels of genocide. It is a very serious issue, and I understood it. I was blacklisted because of these stupid goddamn rules that were meant to kill me. And so I'm supposed to sit here and sleep normally every fucking day. There's days where I do feel like I want to explode, and today is one of those days. 
Because why? Because I'm dealing with stagnation. And I shouldn't deal with stagnation. You know? Like I said, this town right here owes me buku dineros. But I sit here and like I try to make an honest living. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna take what I have and I'm gonna try to make some money, okay? So obviously I'm doing the best I can. I was not one of those people who who was sitting here trying to get a handout. You know what I mean? I actually wanted to get off of unemployment in October. Okay? I made my effort. Maybe maybe you were thinking, okay, well, that's not up to our standard. You know what? I do the best I can. Okay? I'm well aware of the fact that I'm all by myself. I know this. I fucking know this. People think, oh, no, that's not true. She's got her biological mom who who happens to be blah, 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 right? I'm not going to say, all right? But she has her biological I I wouldn't ask my biological mom for shit. I have never asked anybody for shit, okay? And all I've ever done in when I've been in situations where people get around me, all they want to do is fucking pull their behavior modification bullshit on me. I am not a mediocre person. I'm tired of people trying to change who I am. I cannot help it. It is who I am. And these are the sort, the very things that they say you're supposed to strive for. So in other words, by people trying to reduce my what they call what they perceive as superiority you are bullying me out of my life i don't appreciate it okay and basically saying well we're not going to do this until you just fuck you and if you put your lives on the line for it fuck you and i'm glad you're going to die and you deserve it you fucking goddamn deserve it you know i i i'm sorry if people think that i'm irate but when you really think these sort of situations through you know, you start thinking, okay, who's responsible? Why would they do this sort of thing? Why are you doing this to me? Why? You know what I mean? And you got these people who are selfish and thinking of themselves. There is no way in the world that these people had my best interest at heart. There is no reason for anybody to have a cohort operation if they are wanting to get in touch with their biological child. Open your fucking goddamn eyes, people. So anyway... <laughs> I got that off my mind. I already feel 10 times better. <laughs> anyway, I'm being silly. I'm still angry, but I'm just trying to make the best of it. Um, all right, so I did get some messages. And, um, you know, I, I wanted to say that, yeah, I, I know that people were talking about the whole racial issue. Like I said yesterday, I, I don't want to go into it. But there is, like, this whole, this is how the whole thing connects, okay? Obviously, it started off with the... Mangalay thing, right? And um, and then somehow or another, oh yeah, okay. We, it all starts off with my biological mother who participated in this whole thing. Okay, this is where these whole things connect. Okay, um, anytime you see a person of color, you know, exhibiting a certain trait, when you think that that person has to give up their trait just because it hurts your feelings, and then you want to get rough about it. You're breaking the law, okay? You're breaking the law. And the, those are the kind of laws that are actually written, the kind of laws that you can go to jail for. It's called a hate crime is what it's called, okay? And I don't expect to have to deal with that sort of thing from, you know, stupid employers with that smirk on their face, you know, when, I, when you go in there. Yeah, I understand what I was dealing with, okay? And I understand that's still buzzing around. I'm trying not to deal with it. You know, I have a lot to say about it, mind you, okay? But, you know, I try to keep the peace. And I, I don't have the animosity to where I would ever feel like I would have to take, you know, uh, retaliate. I'm not interested in retaliation. I'm, re I'm interested in, um, not isolation, but I guess kind of just like going off into my own solitude. Because I think that's the best thing for me. And this is what I tried to do. This is one of the reasons why I started off on Patreon. I, I'm not interested in going back to a regular 9-to-5 job. I figure I would just make my own money. You know what I mean? Do what I need to do. You know what I mean? I'm trying to stay away from people uh, as much as I possibly can. And that's just the way it is. Because this really, this disturbed me. And then people get, also, I get the feeling that people are getting kind of like edgy or antsy. Because anytime I don't, I'm not social. This changed my life. It marked me. 
okay? It disturbed me. I now have psychological problems that I can't really deal with. And I, this is one of the reasons why I wake up at strange times of the night. And this is one of the reasons why I am the way that I am. Because it leaves, I, I am suffering from their problem. And so when they get upset, like, well, how come she's not talking to me? Because I'm having one of my fucking goddamn days. That's why. I'm just putting it simple. You know what I mean? It's like, I, I understand people want to talk to me and stuff like that. And, and I feel bad sometimes when I'm not, like, up on, like, returning messages and stuff like that. But there's just some times where I just feel like I don't have anything good to say. I don't have anything good to say. So, anyway, my next message is, is that, um, yeah, okay. So, going back to my, um, my... I get the sense that my um, ex-family, as well as my um, biological family, they understand that I don't want to have a relationship with them. I do believe that it's not just their responsibility because they spread some bullshit around me and they put blocks and, and barriers that they should not have done. I have the right to survive. I am not under any, obliga any obligation to have to ask permission for anything, okay? I'm an adult. And I'm certainly not going to ask permission from people or have people think that they can control me who are doing things that are abusive to me. This is a great example of abuse. Okay? And all the other things on top of it. I do not want a relationship with these people. I do not want to see my siblings. I do believe some of them have passed on. I don't cry about it. I'm not going to shed a tear about it. All I've ever got was shit from these people. You know what I mean? And the difference between me and most people is that I'm, I'm they, they say, oh, transparency. So suddenly transparency became so, what do you call it, um, popular, usually not word. Like, as soon as I came around, I started noticing that people are starting to, like, try to be more direct, but they'll never be as direct as me. Because I will confront a problem right then and there, and I'm going to say it exactly the way it needs to be said. I'm not going to sugarcoat shit. Okay? I'm not going to sugarcoat any of it. These people were wicked. I'm going to deem these people wicked. No matter how you look at it. Even if you took the whole Joseph Mengele thing out and just completely like squashed it out, erased it, whatever. I was still the adopted kid that was an orphan. Okay, what does like things like the Bible or like even do you think about Orphan Annie? She's supposed to be a, a character who is worthy of a little bit of sympathy. She's an orphan. Okay. They would do this to somebody. They thought I had mental issues. They would sit there and try to like put me in bullying situations. Why are you fucking bullying a person that you think has mental problems? Because you're fucking evil. That's why. So I don't make decisions just lightly, okay? I'm not one of those willy-nilly type people who just like, you know, I just feel like I'm a little angry or I'm just a little aggravated, so I'm just going to throw out judgment. No, I'm not like that. I think the whole thing through. Okay, why? Who's involved? Did, what do you know? What, blah, 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 blah. I try to understand as much as I possibly can, okay? When it comes to the person who gave birth to me, I don't understand how the fuck anybody would do something like that. Because I tell you what, I am a maternal person. And I'm, surpri I'm surprised myself. Because when I first had my, my kid, okay, maybe I'm not one of those little housewives with a little um, apron tied around my, my, my waist and making like fabulous dinners, okay? Every once in a blue moon, I, I do have my day where I can like whip out something pretty good. But most of the time lately, I'm going to say lately, okay? I don't put a lot of effort into it. I would say... Like, you know, when I lived over on I Street, I was constantly making recipes. I lived by my recipe book. I would go out to the store and buy in specific ingredients and be on that shit. Like, I would make that food, like, right when I got there or whatever, within a few days or whatever. I'm not really doing all of that. I've been sitting around being very unhappy lately, just being pissed off, angry, not wanting to go downstairs. I stay in my room pretty much all the fucking time, okay? <laughs> pretty much all the time. But, you know, it's like, you know, um, where was I going with this? <laughs> I got feared off. Is that um, I, I, I have the right to be angry. I'm not just making it up. I'm not just um, trying to be petty. I'm, I'm not. It's because, you know, I, I feel like I've struggled all my life. And I just feel like um, 
you know, how dare you add to it? And then now that you revealed yourself, it just makes it more tragic. And I know some of you guys are like wondering like, why, when are you ever going to get over this? It's okay if I never get over it because I'm 53 years old and just about every single year of my 53 years old was some fucking ridiculous bullshit, especially within the last 10 years. And now in the last, since autumn coming to find out all this shit, I'm just like, oh my God, I'm so disgusted with people. I can't even tell you how disgusted I am. You know, I got this message that my, um, my old, I'm going to call her a playmate because she sure as hell wasn't my fucking friend. Teresa, she might be dead. You know what I mean? Good riddance to her. That's another one. And people think, you know what, how is it that you could be so fucking harsh? Like I said, when I make decisions, I believe my, my decisions are just and they're right. I don't do, I do not make decisions willy nilly. Okay. All I've ever got from these people was suffering. Suffering all the time. And, okay, sorry, I'm, I'm going off again because I'm upset. Okay, but anyway, um, yeah, I think people do realize that um, both families do understand that I don't. And I, I think there's a lot of other people who are listening to me. I'm getting the feeling that they understand why I wouldn't. And they probably wouldn't either. Like, you know, like some stories, I remember, I don't know, some of those like, reunion shows you know like ugh, I, I hate to even admit that you watch an episode of this but like you know, like jerry springer okay and nothing wrong with jerry springer but you know it's just like we know the content in the 90s the the the, the, the talk shows were just not quite what they should have been they were starting to get like they went from oprah and phil donahue to just like utterly ridiculous it kind of seems like but anyway i was watching this and um they were talking about, um, oh gosh, I'm sorry, I'm forgetting my train of thought, I'm so tired, <laughs> I'm getting tired, um, but, you know, I, I would watch shows like, you know, um, Jerry Springer, or, or just a stupid shit like that, you know, I don't even know where I was going with this, because I'm getting so tired, because I didn't sleep last night, but, um, when it comes to my ex-family, and, and, um, both sides of it. Um, I, I can't, I can't overlook the cruelty that's involved in it. I can't overlook that. You know what I mean? And yeah, I do judge that on character because right now I'm in a situation where I'm very vulnerable. I'm vulnerable. You know what I mean? I'm a woman all by herself. You know what I mean? And yes, I do appreciate my son, you know, hanging out and, and taking care of his mom. I never wanted that to happen. Never. I never want to be a burden to anybody. And it's not me like trying to like ask for sympathy or anything, but I don't. I don't. I mean, I feel like, you know, to me, the best thing you can ever do in your life is have your freedom and have your space and have your time as in certain parts of your life. And when I was working, when I was his age, I was fucking miserable because they were fucking in my work, my work. You know what I mean? I wasn't married or anything like that. But at that age, I was miserable. I would think I was like, yeah, he's he's 30, okay? So, well, I mean, I think I was married. But anyway, I was married. I was miserable anyway. Okay, But anyway, it's just completely miserable. And I want my son to be able to do things he wants to. You know what I mean? And I understand people are like, well, you know, you, you need to think about getting married and stuff like that. Okay, you know what? I, I need to feel comfortable with that. I, I'm not comfortable with that. That's not an option for me. I'm not saying I'm never, ever, 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 ever going to get married. What I'm saying is, is that I have to take care of myself. And I knew this from, I knew I never had anybody that I can fall back on. I would not fall. First of all, my mother and my, my mother and my father who raised me, they're dead. Okay. And my biological mom, I don't want anything to do with. Okay. I, she, I don't care who she is, whatever. I, I'm not one of those people. I have never been the kind of person to ask for handouts or anything. Okay, but I do know that she had something to do with this creation of all this other stuff. She was able to pull strings and stuff like that. They created an issue. Please fix it. And please leave me alone. Okay, I, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm basically just at, at the point where I'm just, I can't take it anymore. I literally can't. Like, I wake up every day and I feel like I don't have anything to really look forward to because of this issue. And that's beyond, that was something that was beyond my control. Like, I can totally understand it when, like, you know, we we, we, we get angry with, with ourselves sometimes, you know. Um, 
because <clears throat> we, we, we are not putting forth the effort, okay? But when during the summertime, you know, I, I, I knew that the workplace, I, by this time I already knew that the work sink situation was already rigged. Okay, something was going on with the EDD thing. Um, EDD obviously found out that I was right in this issue because right after I went to go to, um, I went to the court system and I reported, I was going to report my brother and put the, uh, finalize the um, restraining order on him, right? <clears throat> after that, it was like, I didn't have any more problems with the EDD and then the thing started to like reveal itself, like one after another. Anyway, you know what? I think I might be getting a little bit tired. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and read, and, I mean, uh, let you know what other message I have before I fucking start forgetting my shit because I'm getting really, really tired. Anyway, um, I don't have, basically from what I'm picking up, I don't have any, like, what you call, like, um, <sighs> active enemies or anything like that. But I do know that just being bullied those times, when it becomes a work issue, it literally does feel like you had somebody put a gun to your head. And when you think about somebody trying to enforce, I don't want people ever enforcing their life on me. Okay. To, to live a religion that I don't want to be a part of, to, uh, to do anything and, and trying to make it sound as if, well, you're getting old. It's time to change. Don't you ever tell me when I'm supposed to change because I, I am who I am. This is who I am. And if you don't like who I am, which is that's basically what you're fucking saying, then fine, leave me alone. You know, I, I didn't ask for people to sit here and pick me apart and analyze me and tear me apart and like, and, and dehumanize me in such a manner. You know what I mean? And, and I, I think it's stupid to suggest to someone like in my situation to just go off and get married or do, or, or do something that they think is girly. My situation is not tip, a typical girly. I didn't get those things in life, okay? Meaning, I didn't have peace of mind. I never had peace of mind. I always had some asshole behind the strings, behind the scenes, you know, causing problems. Whether that be the fucking weirdos from the from the top of the pyramid to like this bitch that calls herself from my mother. It's always been some type of fucking drama, always, you know. So anyway, sorry, I'm getting angry because. <laughs> But anyway, um, yeah, the other message I got is that people are starting to realize, like, yeah, they really did misjudge me. Like, when I was going on, it, when I was in school, obviously there was, like, you know, the, the, the talk about me being, like, you know, anti-God. I don't know why they would say this, but we well, yeah, I don't know why. Because they were trying to hide the face of the fact that they were racist. But um, I did make a lot of jokes. I've always been, like, uh, been able to, you know... <laughs> act silly or whatever because that's you know maybe that's one of the reasons why i'm able to survive i think it is i think it plays a big role in it you know but i was a goofy kid when i was younger um but that doesn't mean that i don't have understanding of of things and then how they work you know number one people were basing me on my race number one they thought well if people believe that black people don't know anything they they tell you this because it's a part of the racist propaganda to have people like turn against them and not have that not, to prevent them from having you know um employment opportunities and stuff like that if you perceive a person as less than then they are going to be treated that way and this is what they made up okay but meanwhile, they flip the script and they take away my history, which is actually the Egyptian history, and somehow act, act as if it's theirs. And then they target me for it, and then I, I end up finding out just now. It's just so weird. I can't. I mean, I can't even make it up. But anyway, um, no, I, I, there was nothing goofy about somebody laughing and talking and and being creative or whatever. Yeah, you did judge me wrong. And it's unfortunate, but you know what? Um, it is what it is. Anyway, and then also people do understand, um, just like the issue with me not wanting to have a relationship with my blood relations or my um, adoptive relations, people understand that. It's completely understandable, okay? Um, just based on the foundation of um, how, it, how it was created, why it was created, and the fact that this person acted on it, whether regardless or not that they knew it was like, you know... Um, associated with Joseph Mengele or not, it, it, it doesn't matter. The very fact that I don't even know this person, but they're sneaking up on me, spying on me, and making things work that, I mean, turning, trying to turn things against me or trying to affect my life or harm me in some way. You're bullying me from a distance. 
I don't care who's involved in it. I don't, I, you know, it could just be like two, I, 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 it's not excusable either way. Okay. Obviously there was no love in this family unit. So regardless of what these people say. So anyway, and I'm a realist, so I'm pointing it out. I'm getting a little tired. I don't know if I'm going to go straight to bed or whatever. I don't know. I knew I, I was like, forgot my line of thought as I was talking earlier in the video because I was just, Hey, Maria needs to get some sleep. <laughs> Maria just needs to get some sleep. So anyway, I'll be back with another video sometime later. Take care. Bye-bye.